Hey, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Now, when you look at the Model Y initially, it looks just like a bigger version of the Model 3, a little bit taller, a little bit longer, a little bit wider. But if you look a little bit deeper, the Y owner's manual just was released and owners are getting their deliveries. Tesla packed a lot more tech into this car than we were initially expecting and way more than they initially announced. So I wanna go over some exclusive Model Y features today and tell you why I just sold my house to buy this car. I'm joking, I, I didn't sell my house because it's probably a bad time to sell. Market's down a little bit, but I wanna talk about the Model Y exclusive features today. If you guys are excited, drop a like down below to seriously help me out, and of course, hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Tesla news. First up, we gotta talk a little bit about trailer mode. This is something that Tesla had previously stated would be coming to the Model Y, but if you get your Model Y right now, you might say, well, wait a darn minute, I don't see it in the settings. Where is trailer slash tow mode? According to some exclusive info obtained by Tasmanian, this is still absolutely happening. And in fact, they have the read receipts to prove. Here's a look at the interface right here with some additional details and even the numbers for what the Model Y can tow. It's gonna be able to do up to 3,200 pounds for the max tow weight, which is pretty good. You know, it's not as good as the Cybertruck is obviously gonna be able to do because you know, it, it's a truck. But a lot of people have been looking at the Model Y because they have a bit of extra cash to spend and they don't have enough for a Model X, but they want something with more functionality than the Model 3. And I mean, Tesla is killing it out here with the range of specs. There's even icons for what this is gonna look like in action for everything's good to go, you're towing as expected, or there's some bigger issues that you should probably take a look at before continuing on your little family camping trip. But I did wanna start off with this just because I know there's been a lot of confusion, like where is it, why don't I see it? It's coming, it's just not here yet. And uh, fingers crossed, you know that this is gonna be included for free in a future Model Y update and not paid DLC, like the acceleration boost from a few months ago. But at this point, you know, anything's possible with Tesla. Now some more fun stuff. This is uh, this is pretty sweet if I don't say so myself. First, the Model Y has a heat pump. No, not to blow up your favorite inflatable objects, but to keep the car's heating system running efficiently. Now, one of the biggest problems with EVs, obviously, is that in the winter, and with any car, they don't run as well because engines and batteries and motors like to be kept pretty warm. As somebody who is just exiting the winter with my Model 3, I am so much more excited for the warmer weather. I have to charge less frequently and overall driving the car is just better. Everything about it feels better when it's warm. Well, in the Model Y, you might not have to worry about colder weather as much anymore. Now, it remains to be seen how impactful this heat pump is going to be, but an article from Electric suggests that this is going to equate to less lost range during the winter months. As the car will not have to work as hard to heat itself up, it's gonna be able to use this heat pump to do everything way more efficiently than before. I cannot wait to see the results of this. I mean, I'm hoping they're pretty significant. And here's to hoping Tesla also brings this to the Model 3 in a future update because I don't have this right now and it gets a little cold out here sometimes. Next up in more good news for the Model Y, you get a standard inductive wireless Qi charger in the car. Now I actually had to buy this as an add-on for my Model 3 and I was a bit surprised that this didn't come standard, but now no matter what you buy with the Model Y, you're getting standard wireless charging. So your new iPhone, your new Samsung, if you float that way, any phone with Qi enabled charging, you can just set down and it's so much better than the finicky cable situation that you get standard with the Model 3 and so many other cars. And actually going below into like the little duct area where the wires stem from for the wireless inductive charger, you do get one USB-C port and one USB-A port. So Tesla's changing it up there. Obviously in the back, as well as I covered previously, you're getting two USB-C ports for passengers, which is awesome as it's future-proofing the car for when everything finally switches to USB-C. Next up, if you wanna go mudding in your Model Y, I mean, I'm not gonna recommend it, but I'm telling you that you could because Tesla has introduced an off-road assist feature. I wasn't really expecting this and I don't think anybody else was as well. But as you can see, Tesla has integrated it here so that if you wanna go off-road with your Model Y, there are the settings to do that and they say it's gonna essentially help you maximize the torque and the way the wheels spin so that you go over you know, maybe some small rocks or appliances, something like that. But it's gonna allow you to take the Model Road places where the Model 3 would not work as efficiently as the Model 3 doesn't have anything for off-road, rightfully so, because it sits so close to the ground. But because the Model Y sits a lot higher, you can do something like off-roading, which is really cool. You know, the more I read these features, I'm like, why did I get the Model 3? Inside, there are a couple of other tweaks as well. In the back of the car, you have like a cigarette lighter, which I covered a little bit ago. You do have the power lift gate, which is super nice. You just press the button 
button and the gate will close, the gate, the trunk will close just like on the Model S and X. And finally, there are these cool little buttons on the side here that will allow the seats to drop down. This is really handy as you don't have to go up to the front and push them down and like strenuously do stuff that you don't wanna to have to do when you got hands full of groceries. Now you can just pop the two seats down with these little like release buttons. But Tesla gave us one other surprise too. So per usual in the back of Tesla's underneath of the very back, you get a little special storage compartment. It's not nearly big enough for anything like a spare tire, but it allows you to put some stuff in there and gain some extra space. That of course makes a return on the Model Y, but they added a second secret hidden compartment as well for additional space just because the Model Y is a much larger vehicle than the Tesla Model 3. So I wanted to share that with you. I thought it's super cool and it's a, you know, a little secret feature that most people will never notice until they actually get the car and get in one. Again, these are all things that we had no idea that were coming, but very small surprises. And I can't wait to see what else Tesla adds in the future. I think we're only scratching the surface here with the Model Y, but as of right now, these are all of the big changes we know of so far. Does this persuade you from buying a Model 3 to a Model Y? Let me know down below in the comments section. That's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, drop a like down below. Hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam with Volted. I'll catch all of you in my next video. Peace out.